Hi, Tom Hetzel with Ride Designs. If you've been following these videos, we've got a number of different videos regarding the new FlexLock multi-axial hardware for the Ride Custom Back. We've got another video um, filmed so far on how to install it onto the chair. So if you haven't watched that yet, it's really easy. It's a simple clamp around the canes. Now I'm going to take you really quickly through the adjustments of the um, of the, the multi, multiple axes that are available on the ride custom back hardware, the flex lock hardware. All right, at this point, we've got the flex lock installed on the chair. Typically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to be adjusting my back height to get an appropriate relationship to my cushion. Two mechanisms for that, simply loosening your clamps and repositioning the flex lock on the canes to the height desired. Now, if you find yourself running into interference on those back canes for rigidizer bar, armrests, whatever it may be, find the best position you can. Snug your clamps at that height, and then you'll be able to fine-tune the height via loosening three set screws, one, two, three set screws, to allow the back to slide on the center track. Snug those down. Okay, with my height adjusted, I can now fine-tune my seat depth and rough angulation vertical or rotation of the ride custom back. To do that, I'm going to, I have two four millimeter screws. You're gonna notice I'm gonna use one wrench for all these adjustments, except for one. Four millimeter Allen wrench, I'm gonna go, which comes with the back support. I'm gonna loosen the screw at these knuckles. I'm gonna loosen it all the way up until it stops. We've put a safety screw on the bottom of the screw to keep it from backing out too far. When you loosen these up, you're going to separate the teeth. There are very, very fine teeth that really allow for a real robust and aggressive um, uh, uh, maintenance of the angle here. So that you opened up those, then you'll see a sticker here that says with adjustment screws too. And those you access from the bottom. I'm going to loosen those up. With my pivots loosened and my width adjustment screws from the bottom loosened, I can now move the back through any orientation I need. So if I'm just setting this up on a chair and just eyeballing it to get a good seat to back relationship to begin with, I'll just put it where about where I need it to be. I can then fine tune the position of the back on this horizontal bar too. And once I seem to have it pretty close, I'll just simply go back to my adjustments and tighten them down. So that is how you adjust seat depth and vertical rotation. Next thing you may want to fine tune then is your back angle. The center clamp, when loosened, allows us to do a number of things. We can work with our seat to back angle, as you'll see here, but also fine tune the lateral position of the back support. So I'm going to fine tune my back angle. Tighten those down. There are four of those. Now adjusted height via the clamps on canes or center position. I've adjusted depth and vertical rotation via loosening the pivot screws and the width adjustment screws, which are accessed from below. I've adjusted back angle and lateral position through the center clamp. 
The additional, the final axis is your rotation of your back in this manner is done through four 10 millimeter head bolts that actually mount or attach the ride custom back to the flex lock. You'll simply loosen those four bolts and that'll allow you to rotate the back in this fashion. So that is how you adjust the flex lock hardware with ride custom back for optimal orientation. Get it eyeballed in and set up, go out and do your fitting. When you get to your client, you simply loosen those axes, adjust the back to fine tune that orientation, tighten it down, double check all of your fasteners at the end of your fitting to make sure everything is just as tight as you can get it, and this back hardware is going to stay in place, will stay in adjustment, and provide a really, really robust interface for your, for your client. Thank you very much.